Good morning, I'm meteorologist Rod Hill, uh, my partner Chris McGinnis. So we'll say on special assignment as we've shifted our schedules around temporarily during the uh, coronavirus, of course, being the overwhelming news story. Uh, Surrounded by sun. I love it when I can do this. Surrounded by sun. This one over here is Pacific City. You know, there's enough of a west flow at the beach. We'll be cooler today. Temperatures here probably doing well to hit 50 degrees. Not a guarantee that some areas will make it. And this is Mount Hood from the Oregon Veterans Home Camera early this morning out in the Dalles and downtown Portland. By the way, it's uh, what? 807 now, 34. The airport did get down to freezing this morning. That becomes the fifth. 32 degree day of this month. I just checked the normal seasonal average for freezing starts in March is three. So we're already above that. We're only halfway through the month and we'll see how many more we can uh, add on to that. Uh, weather wise today, the only thing we're watching is some scattered showers that, that were with us overnight and they're expected to redevelop this afternoon in southeastern Oregon. This is 1 30. There's Burns, Baker City. Maybe John Day could get into some of that action. Here we are at 5 30. A little bit of increase in clouds overnight tonight. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. There's a little weak low that's going to drop down on the coast and bring some cloudiness into the western part of our state tomorrow morning. This is Wednesday at 930. And then during the day, though, that would get out of here and we would go on to be just really, really nice. So forecast is pretty simple. Not a lot of things going on right now. Just beautiful weather, sunshine today. PDX hit 60 yesterday. We could do it again today. It's basically the same batch of air. I'm saying 58. Some of the modeling showing the air mass temperature could be a degree or two cooler, but maybe not. Uh, hey, by the way, I meant to say this. Sun up this morning, 718 in Portland. Sun down tonight, 720. Uh, as you probably know, the vernal equinox is this Thursday evening. Spring begins. But today, locally, will be the first day that we actually uh, get more daylight than darkness. So we're switching that around. All right, seven-day numbers. Remember, we had rain in the forecast for Friday, Saturday. Uh, if you have plans these two days, it still warrants watching. But the change to dry in 60 is because most models are now showing that low that we were tracking staying out to sea far enough that it would not impact us. There's a stronger, colder low set to come in the first part of next week, and that could bring some rain into a Sunday overnight, Monday and Tuesday. That is your weather extra for today. Have a great Tuesday.